All right, next I'm going to do the uh, Carolina Panthers at the Atlanta Falcons. This was uh, kind of a <clears throat> very entertaining game, but like player wise and <clears throat> excuse me, player wise and like team significant wise, it wasn't the best of games. But this was super entertaining. This was back and forth a lot right at the end there. They went to overtime and uh, PJ Walker had at the end of the game had a Hail Mary pass to DJ Moore. They hit it, tied the game, and then he got penalized. I saw this all day. Bad, bad, bad taunting calls. Like, changing the game. This one absolutely changed the game. He got a touchdown, celebrated, just like Stephon Diggs when he did the Minnesota Miracle, took his helmet off and was like, what's up, what's up? DJ Moore did the same thing. Took his helmet off after he scored the touchdown. They called the touchdown. Then he took his helmet off looking at the crowd or whatnot. They called a 15-yard penalty on the kick. Extra point. He misses. They go into overtime. That th 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 This taunting crap needs to get out of the NFL. This is what the game's about. Like, it is about schooling the other dude and not rubbing it in their face, but like, Alpha, alphaing that opponent. Like, it's not just, oh, I have a higher score. I win today. Yay. No, it's like, hey, I I'm better than you. Do something. That's that's what the game's about. And they're taking it out. They're making this game so soft, and it's, it's irritating. I can't stand the ticky-tacky pass interference calls. I can't stand the ticky-tacky roughing the passers and then not calling it on other people. Like yesterday, the Broncos had a rough in the passer on Trevor Lawrence. That was super ticky tacky. And then next drive, Russ makes a run and they absolutely crush him. Like he's sliding and they still come down and hit him and no call. So they got to quit playing favorites. They, they got to, I mean, the less the refs are in the game, the better. I can't stand when the ref tries to take over the show. Back to my point, PJ Walker actually looks solid. Um, I actually kind of like him as a quarterback. Uh, I think he's a quarterback that could grow. I mean, yeah, he's more of an athlete playing quarterback, but like he made some accurate throws yesterday that I was, I was really amazed against the Bucks. He played great. He had a clutch throw at the end of the game, a dagger deep ball to, I believe DJ Moore as well. And this game, same thing. Seconds running off the clock, chucking it up, Hail Mary. And, I mean, it wasn't just like a jump ball. He running in stride and caught it. And it's just a shame that they lost. I, I, I think they deserved that win. Uh, Falcons are just, I feel like, are just trucking along. Uh, they got a really, really young team, but they're really, really injured. I think they're really well coached. I, li I love their coach, but uh, – I think they are missing a quarterback. I know Marcus Mariota's playing consistent. He's not turning the ball over a lot, but you got to get – I know they scored a lot of points yesterday too, but you're playing the Panthers. Week to week, they need to be able to put points up at will. Um, and they don't. They, they only put up points from when they're behind. They make good comebacks, but they've lost too many of those comebacks that they've made this year. And I really do like the Falcons. I like, I like their – Young wide receiver Drake London. I like Kyle Pitts, but Marcus Mariota is what's capping that team off. Carolina Panthers, they got work to do all around. Obviously, with trading Christian McCaffrey, they're looking for a rebuild, kind of. But man, PJ Walker looked better than Baker Mayfield, dare I say? PJ Walker looked better than Baker Mayfield? I think he did. But entertaining game. If you happen to see this one, this was one of the more entertaining games of the year, for sure.